Okay, so here we have the last sample problem. Calcium carbonate can be thermally decomposed to calcium oxide and carbon dioxide. Under certain conditions, this reaction proceeds with a 92.4% yield of calcium oxide. How many grams of calcium oxide can the chemist expect to obtain if 12.4 grams of calcium carbonate is heated? Okay, so we break this down. We've already got the equation. We didn't have to do that. Okay, but it's the first step. You want to start off with the equation. So from here, let's look at some of the givens. Well, we have 12.4 grams of calcium carbonate. We, want, we get a 92.4% yield of calcium oxide. So it's calcium oxide that we're trying to figure out. That's what we're trying to figure out. So, if we've got 12.4 grams of calcium carbonate, what can we find about calcium carbonate from here? What are we always trying to find? Moles, right? We can find molar mass, which will help us find the number of moles. Okay? So, we have 12.4 grams, okay? calcium carbonate. We're going to divide it by the molar mass of calcium carbonate, which is 100.09 grams per mole. So grams cancel out, and I will have 0 0.1239 moles of calcium carbonate. So, we have our chart. So, moles, molecules. Okay. So, calcium uh, oxide and calcium carbonate. We have 0 0.1239 moles. We want to find the number of moles of calcium oxide. And in this reaction, I believe the reaction is already balanced. Let's double check. Yes, it's already balanced. So the ratio is one to one. Okay, so pretty simple, right? So we want to find out the number of moles of calcium oxide, but if it's a one to one ratio of molecules, it should be the same ratio of moles. Yeah. So, calcium carbonate has 0 0.1239 moles, but if it's a one-to-one -one ratio, then it's got the same number of moles, right? 0 0.1239 moles. So, we have that many moles of calcium oxide. What do you think we're going to try to find next? Mass. The mass of calcium oxide, right? So, we want to find the mass of calcium oxide. To do that, we've got to find what of calcium oxide? The molar mass. So, we're going to take, so we want calcium oxide and we have 0 0.1239 moles times the molar mass of calcium oxide, which is 56.08 grams per mole. Okay. So moles cancel out, and we're left with 6.08. Four, eight grams of calcium oxide. 6.948 grams of calcium oxide. Is that the actual or the theoretical? Theoretical. theoretical. Okay. So that's the theoretical. But do I have an actual? Yeah. No, that's of my pro that's my reactant. I want to find out of my product. So we use a percentage yield, right? We have a percentage yield. 
92.4% okay, is our yield. Okay. So our actual, okay, our actual, okay, our actual yield is equal to 6.948 times 92.4%. But remember, we always want to divide it by 100. Okay. So, what is the actual mass of calcium oxide? Six point four one. This is one nine nine, so six point four two zero. So six point four two zero grams, but we want how many significant digits? Three, right? So the answer is six point four two grams is the actual. So that is actually how much we're gonna be able to extract from our experiment, 6.42. But theoretically, we should be able to extract 6.948 uh, grams. Okay. That's still a very good percentage. Wait, what's the 92.4? That's the percentage yield that we get. So now we're kind of working backwards. Remember how we had the percentage yield is equal to actual divided by theoretical, but we're given the actual, sorry, we're given the theoretical and we're given the percentage yield. So what we're, we're wanting to do is we're kind of just rearranging our equation. All right. So let me break this down here. So we've got percentage yield okay, is equal to Actual, theoretical, times 100. So what information do we have? Well, we have 92.4% okay, we're trying to find the actual. Theoretically, we have, how much do we make? 6.9% four eight grams okay, times one hundred. Okay. So what we're gonna do is ninety two point four is equal to X times a hundred will give me one hundred X. So let's think math divided by six point nine four eight right. so what we want to do is we want to isolate for x so we're going to bring this from the denominator across the equal sign so it becomes multiplication so 92.4 times 6.948 we so, and it is equal to 100 x i want to isolate for x so I'm going to divide this by 100, which means I'm dividing this by 100 as well. Okay? So I'm multiplying, or I'm dividing these two together, right? I'm converting my percentage into a decimal, because remember, percent always changes to a decimal. Once you have that, then multiply by the 6.984, 948, which we already did.